Hello and welcome back to Katie's Business Tips. Glad to be with you. Michael Lapid here talking to you about corporations right now. And in this video, we're going to go into the corporation shareholders. Last video into the share structure and the share classes. Now we're going to talk about the shareholders themselves. And as we already said, the shareholder is just simply someone who owns shares of the corporation, right? Owns the stock, owns the shares. Now, what people don't realize is that it is an asset. When you own those shares, you might realize this, but a lot of people don't know that. They're like, it was only a buck. What, what do you mean it's an asset? No, it's still an asset that's going to go up in value as your corporation grows. So when you get that, you have an ownership interest in the company that is an asset that you're holding on to that is hopefully going to grow into the future so you have a higher value in the future. Okay. Now, when I say property, that means it can be sold, right? Like cars, houses can be sold. In certain instances, shares can be sold too as well and bought and sold, right? Any person can really hold shares in a corporation. When we say person, uh, corporations can be defined as a person too. I know that sounds strange to you, but in the actual definition of the act, a corporation is considered a person. So a person can also hold shares in a corporation as well. An individual... Uh, a person can include a legal entity also as a trust. So a trust holding the shares in trust for someone. So a trust can also own and acquire shares too as well. Same with mutual funds sometimes own shares, right? Certain other trust accounts, mutual funds are a type of trust, right? Holding companies, capital corporations, things that can own shares as well as the individuals. General speaking, and unless your articles provide otherwise, each share in the corporation entitles the shareholder to a vote as long as it's a voting shareholder. So for each one share you have is typically worth one vote. It'll state how many votes you get for out of one share, but typically it's one for one. And therefore, the larger number of shares that you hold, the larger number of the votes you would get at any meetings, right? Now, an individual can also be, as we mentioned in another video, the shareholder can also be the director and the officer in some cases. Okay, so that's important to note. And remember that when it comes to liability, the director had some liability we talked about in the other video, but the shareholder really doesn't unless they personally guaranteeing anything. It would be like saying, I own shares in Apple or Microsoft and I'm liable for Microsoft. No, you're not liable for Microsoft, right? You're not liable for Apple because you own shares. The shareholder can just own the shares, own the asset, but they're not running the company, so there's no liability, okay? Now, obviously, if you sell your shares or they're sold back to the corporation, the corporation can buy them back. You cease to be a shareholder if you get rid of the shares because if you don't have that asset, then you don't, or you're not a shareholder. Now, if the corporation dissolved or closed down and you're, it's gone, obviously, then you're probably ceased to be a shareholder because it's dissolved at that point. And share owners can transfer, right, sell or transfer in certain situations the shares and the rights that go with them when they sell them or maneuver them or restructure them. So for example, if you own the shares personally, you're like, my company's growing. I want to get a family trust or holding company. Those shares can be transferred on a certain section of the Income Tax Act, tax-free deferred, and therefore you can move the shares that you own into another entity, a trust or anything like that. So they can be maneuvered or moved around. And when they're sold or moved, transferred, then they also retain the rights of that class of share. Okay. So that's a bit about shareholders. If you've got any questions, you would love to hear from these. these are very basic videos on the surface, but if you want to talk about your situation or whatever it may be, we'd love to hear from you. Post in the comments below. Thanks for being a part of our, our uh, educational videos, and we'd love to see you in the next one. Thank you.